What's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. In this one, we are going to be exploring the best class setup for the ICR. Quickly before we actually get into the class setup, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support on the channel lately. We're very, very close to 700 subs, which is insane. My goal is to get 1,000 subs before the holidays. I'm going to be streaming heaps on the holidays, obviously keeping the content going as well. You guys seem to love the content, so I'm going to keep on pumping it out, especially the live commentaries whenever I have time. And as I said, thank you guys for the support, not only on YouTube, but also on Twitter. If you guys don't follow my Twitter, it'll be the first link in the description. I'll be getting mad support over there. Obviously been having a bit of a rough time in real life, but you guys just make my life so much easier. Anyway, without further ado, let's get right into the best class setup for the ICR. The reason why I took so long for me to release this is because I was just trying to find the best ICR class. I have a total different class, which I'll put on the screen now for hardcore. It doesn't have a reticle, but basically I've been using this gun a lot and I've just tried to find the best class setup for the weapon. Now this will be the first class setup video of many on my channel. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see next. I think I've got a good weapon next and not many people have tried out. One thing that I do want to mention is to take advantage of this weapon. So let's dive into talking about the weapon. I'd say that pretty much 70% of every single lobby is filled with people using ICRs. The hype over it has kind of died down now. People are trying to get gold weapons. There's more variety. The reason why it's used so much is because of how powerful it is at long to medium range. It's also super good up close because of the damage. But the main thing that stands out about this weapon is that it has very little recoil and that takes pretty much no skill. Anyone can just grab this gun and absolutely melt with it because of the lack of recoil. If you use a low sense with this gun, you're pretty much just going to be melting people and that's exactly what you're seeing in this gameplay. Without a doubt, this is probably one of, if not probably the easiest weapons to get gold because of just how easy it was to just lock onto their heads and just get those headshots. Now all these reasons equate to why I absolutely adore this class. This is kind of the accuracy class that I use when my shot's on. I just want to melt people. This is the class that I use. So here's the class setup on your screen right now. Now obviously starting the class off we'll look at the reticle in my opinion the red dot is the best reticle to have on the icr the reason for that is because there's literally nothing else if you want to use the iron sight i wouldn't suggest it with this class because this is kind of like a laser class but i feel like the reticle just helps it at medium to long range it definitely improves it a lot more the second two attachments are grip one and grip two now these are the attachments that really make this class stand out you've got little recoil without grip you've got pretty much no recoil with grip and grip two is very very little recoil this obviously means you you can just zap onto people and just laser them and it's it's so good The grip 2 in this game on the ICR grip 2 on any weapon in this game is super super overpowered and I don't normally actually run grip on assault rifles in previous Call of Duties for some reason grip obviously we only have one quick draw and no stock with the ICR so grip 2 is pretty much the only thing that we have and it's unbelievable the next attachment is FMJ to penetrate our bullets through walls and obviously take out that armor a bit quicker now the gear that I run is acoustic sensor Without a doubt, the most overpowered and the best gear in the game. It's pretty much like Sixth Sense from Black Ops 3. It just shows the direction in sort of like a heat map, I guess that's what you'd call it. I don't know what you'd call it, but it pretty much just shows on your mini map where the enemies are. Now let's quickly talk about perks. Perks in this game, there's not really a variety. Perks aren't very well split out in this game. Um, I think they do that on purpose to sort of get, you know, the perk one gluttony and the perk two gluttony, uh, all that, like just into the game a little bit more. But the perks that I do run is scavenger, dexterity, and dead silence. Now obviously you unlock scavenger at the start. Dexterity, like I think level 30, and dead silence at around level 30 as well. So instead of dexterity, you can run lightweight, and instead of dead silence, you can probably run ghost. Scavenger obviously replenishes ammo. It does help when you're going on streaks. Dexterity is pretty much fast sense from Black Ops 3. Nowhere near as good though. Kind of use it as a quick draw at the same time. So it is very useful with this class. And finally, Dead Silence is probably, I think, the most overpowered perk in this game at the moment because you're super quiet, but the enemy's footsteps are really, really loud. And I would definitely suggest to put your audio settings on Super Crunch to help you hear those enemies a lot better. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the class setup. I hope you guys do enjoy. Have fun with this ICR. Definitely give it a shot. If you did enjoy, smash the like button. Also subscribe if you have not already. Also turn on post notifications if you have not already to get notified for every single time I upload and go live. Peace out and enjoy the rest of your day.
enemy spawn. 